get under the ground. I don't know where all of them are, but... Oh! Well, oh, be key. careful of that. Be careful of this? The highest level encounters in the game are here. Uh, yeah. I have several questions, like why? But I'm just gonna avoid it. Because it's an end game extra thing to do. Oh, yeah, I suppose we are in the end game, huh? Okay, here's a just random ass ravine, and there's weapon. Yeah. Do, 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 ignore me. Thank I found this by complete accident. Like, I followed, uh. You mean like how I found the key? Yeah, basically. Like, I didn't even know that was something I needed. Oh, is that That's the submarine from earlier? Yep. I just see weapon in the distance and I'm getting nervous. I think that's how I found it. I was looking for the key to the ancients and I stumbled upon the Vincent quest. Okay, so that we're looking for. That means it's north towards the glacier area. God, I wish speed up was a thing in this version of the game. It makes the submarine a lot more bearable. Oh my god. Yeah, this is this is all awesome. going about four times faster than the submarine's going right now. That sounds nice. nowhere near weapon is there like a world map that you can look at or something i'm, watch I'm watching a guide at the moment oh okay this is where the key was all right uh okay so i'm in at least relatively the right area give me a moment Here's a cave. Oh man, I hate trying to take screenshots with my phone. <laughs> okay, I am underneath the leftmost continent. Oh, then you might be in the right spot. You're in the right spot. So you should be able to make landfall under or or go under it's underneath that waterfall there. I'll watch the guide some more. Alright, there's a you can you see that darker patch of ground on your uh, left? You can land there. Right here? You can yeah, you can get out there. Um game says no. I just watched him do it on the guide. Okay, there, there. you go. Okay, well that was not Aha! Stupid duba. Voice. It can't be. Lucretia? That sounds familiar. Um. Okay, we're back at Nibelheim. Wait, isn't Lucretia Eris' mom? No. That's Elmira. Ah. Why do I know the name Lucretia? Lucretia is, uh, 
a name Vincent said when we first found him. Ah, okay. I think it's pronounced Lucrezia, actually. Lucrezia. Lucretia sounds like a name, though. Lucrezia sounds like a curse. If you say so. I think they both sound about equally like a magic spell. Why experiment on humans? Well, yes, experimenting on humans is always a good thing. The child was born to Lucretia. The child's name was... Oh! Da, da, da. Okay. So this is Sephiroth's actual mom. And just wait till you find out who the father is. <laughs> wow. Okay. What a dick move. You dare make me bleed my own blood? So, because Vincent objected to the experiments, they decided to make him an experiment. It's kind of dickish. Is that why he is a blatant not vampire? Yeah, he's he's in there moping that. I think they said the name. Yeah, there it is. Gas and Hojo. Professor Gas and Hojo. Yeah, Hojo. Hojo stole his girl, and uh, Hojo made a Sephiroth with her. Ah! Ah! What? I can't tell what you're saying. Cut out. Uh, I was making disgusted noises. Yeah. Because Hojo is Sephiroth's dad. Yeah. The guy. That wanted a lion wolf thing to screw Aerith. Yeah. Wow, that screwed he up. He also experimented on his own son to make Sephiroth as powerful as he is. Yeah. Why am I surprised? Ojo is the biggest slime ball in this game. Like, Sephiroth, despite being the main villain, is honestly more of a byproduct of Hojo's actions than anything. He can't die so easily. Well, we're gonna have to kill him even harder! At least that giant gun that drained all life from the world freaking opened up the barrier to the endgame, right? I didn't drain all life, but it took a lot of Mako. Okay, um, what now then? Was that it? That was it. That's the, <laughs> that's that's the, the whole thing. That's the fucking Vincent thing. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? God. Actually, there might be more to it. I'll, I'll look, but I think that's it. Vincent, you cut content, son of a bitch. Like. Okay, at least once we get back to outside the cave, I can just chill on the surface so I don't have to worry oh, about Oh, no, there off. is something else. Um, oh, yeah? Where at? Why not? Sure, We're the submarine's this. leaving. They're doing... They did 10 random battles and now they're going back. Wait, what? That... that... Do I just have to, like, wait while they sulk or some shit? Alright, so if you do ten ba random battles and come back, apparently something happens. Okay. Like, it's, there's not a lot to it. Lucrezia's just gone. Vincent picks up an item. And it's specifically ten? What? Yeah, they were counting ten. Uh, yeah, because there ain't nothing here at the moment. Like, not even background music. God dang. I'll, I'll do the- I was watching a video, guy. I'll do the, uh, this one. Oh, 
Are there not encounters right here? Because that would suck. After engaging in ten battles, you can return to Lucrezia's Crystal Cave uh, with Vincent in your party to receive his ultimate weapon, the Death Penalty, and his level 4 limit break, Chaos. Okay, I really don't want to come all the goddamn way back here, so there better be random encounters up here. Like, did, did... I, don't, I don't think they are, because the video guy didn't grind over here. Oh my god. They really made Vincent some bullshit, didn't they? And there's only a couple places you can land in the submarine, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Right there, Junon and Casa del Sol, right? Yeah. Because I saw- I'm not, I'm not leaving yet, but in a few minutes I'm going to uh, go eat dinner. I'll be back as soon as that's done. All Just right. giving a warning. I appreciate the warning, good sir. God, why? Uh, you're not really using Vincent much, so I guess it's up to you if you think it's worth doing. I mean, I think it's because I don't use him that I should do it. That way he at least has a chance in the fights. Yeah. Um, can I not park here? This seems like- Apparently the, not. This looks like a perfect place to park, doesn't it? It does. Okay, fine. Junon's like right across the water anyway, you- Absolute asshole of a game. Yeah. Ugh. Why? What is the purpose? Specifically to torture you. Oh, okay. Even though the game came out before I was bored? Obviously. Um. There's a weapon over there. Um. Just kind of chilling. It's kind of just vibing there. Why? Wait. Wait. Is that the one that freaking? No, that's not the one that freaking blew up. So like, what the frick? Good job, you showed him. Vincent's gun. Like, that looks like a pump action shotgun. He can just shove that thing right into his pocket. Yeah. Oh, this is a compelling gameplay, 100%. Okay. 
God, how would Smash break if you had a character that was like only gun wielding? I guess Doom Guy actually got it. <laughs> Just nothing but different kinds of guns. And of course, the BFG would have to be his uh, ultimate oh, Smash. Oh, without question, the BFG. Would it be like the classic BFG or the BFG 9000 that they used to just rip a hole in Mars? In uh, the new one. I didn't know there was more than one BFG. Uh, yeah. I have very limited knowledge about this. So in uh, Doom Eternal, there's something called the BFG 9000, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a massive Death Star sized BFG that they used to blow a hole in Mars. I don't know, can, can he just use that whenever? I wish! Hey! Counterattack leveled up. Good for you, Vincent. Uh, like, why ten battles? Uh, I guess to give her time to leave and never talk to him again? That's not entirely true. Cressia does show up in Dirge of Cerberus. I don't know what she does in Dirge of Cerberus, because I only made it about two hours into the game. But she does something. But she's there. Dirge of Cerberus is just a painfully boring game. does it exist? Because it's a super boss. It's just waiting there for you to challenge it. How do you even get to that thing? Ram it with the high wind? No, that's not an option. I don't know. Apparently. I don't know. I've never gone after the all weapon. I've not done... I've done very little of the extra stuff. Oh, no, this is not Seriously, why is ramming things with the high wind and not always an option? I didn't fantastic. even know that you could uh, go back to Lucrezia's cave and get stuff. I only knew about going there and getting the conversation. Honestly, the worst part is that like we're listening to the bummer music while we're doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's not even like adventure stuff. It's the, the world is ending music. Which, I mean, it is, but yeah, you don't have to be depressing about it. What, what, what battle are we on? Um, I think that was seven. I hope you know that was seven. Because it would suck if we did nine battles and then went. Supposed to be you 
come back after another main story quest or something, and this is just a way to force crack it? I think so, yeah. But the trigger is you do 10 battles. You're not expected to grind in a circle, you're expected to just check the cave later and go, Oh, hey, there's something here for me. Don't equip his ultimate weapon uh, if you plan on using him right away. Ultima weapons in this game don't give any AP to Materia, so the only reason to use them is if you're using all maxed Materia. Or if you're going into the final boss. Okay, so if you use an Ultima weapon, you don't gain Materia EXP. Yeah, it has lots of Materia slots, and it has a very high attack percentage, but they they try to discourage you from using it all the time always by you don't get AP in your material. Okay, well, that's good to know. Thank you. In chaos. I've actually never seen his ultimate limit because I've never unlocked all the way through his. Yeah, he's still at limit level one for me, so that's not shocking. Mhm. Mm all right. So, uh, now what? Midgar. Now Midgar. Save the game before entering Midgar, and keep that as an extra uh, secondary save just in case so that you have a save that's still in disc two. Uh, oh. Because after Midgar, you begin disc three and a lot of quests close out. So if you ever decide you need that, needed to go back, then you'll want that save. Thank God there's no other underwater caves or something because I'd be pissed if I accidentally bumped into weapon. I think there are other underwater caves? No, I mean that I need to oh. use to get back to where I'm going. Oh, yeah. It's complicated enough as it is. There's one cave that goes all the way under a comp uh, one of the continents and leads to the other side. I don't remember where it is, but I remember using it once. Just for shits and giggles? I didn't know where it went. <laughs> I told you, I found that cave by accident. I was just exploring to see what everything under the entire map was, and I found that while doing so. I also never went back to collect the items because I didn't know about the 10 thing, the 10 item thing until I was watching the guide. I'm just going to try actively avoiding that weapon because I'm not sure what'll set it off. Mm 
not sure, but I swear it's darker over here. No, no, it definitely is. Especially since, like... Oh, it looks like power's back on in Shinra. Yeah. Well, the Mako Reactors are still dark, so that's going to collect it more right now. I'm sorry, can I not park on dead fucking ground? Apparently not. about them firing that gun though, is the energy cannot be created and destroyed, so that energy they shot had to have dissipated and turned back to the planet. Unless Sephiroth absorbed it. He might have, to be fair. Drop the key to... Must be on the excavation tour. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Are you have to you go all the way back to Bone Town and find it. <laughs> Same stupid minigame, too. Why do they pull this shit? Specifically to annoy you. Like, I'm legitimately annoyed by that. What if you fly directly over the top of that? Because I can assume that's how you Wait, fly directly over the top of what? Midgar. Oh, yeah, shouldn't I be able to, like, land somewhere in Midgar? In theory? Oh, but I gotta watch it. Oh, man, I wonder if I forget how to watch that. I guess we're going to get that key. So apparently the high wind is like gigantic. I mean, it's supposed to be. Okay, let's find the freaking bone zone, I guess. Bone zone? I didn't know this was that kind of stream. Touch down in Midgar, you're supposed to be able to get through that way, right? There it is. was supposed to play when you get close enough to Midgar. There definitely wasn't one, but I can, like, go back and check. Yeah. 
Oh, you need to fly to the North Crater first. Seriously? It was yeah, they didn't mention it in the guide. It's one of those stupid triggers. You needed to do a stupid trigger first. Oh, I'm triggered, all right. Oh, uh, all right. Because <laughs> Cloud did say, well, next is Sephiroth, so they're going to get there and have a reason to turn around. I forget what the reason is. All right. I'll be right back. All right. I'll be heading to North Crater. Yeah, just fly over there and there'll be a part of the truck coming. Get bunked, idiots. Whop! Quick, to the northern crater! Show you son of a bitch. Okay, well, now we know why we're turning around. 